Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of EV Unite. In this video we're going to be unboxing the NLX Juice Box Home EV Charger. This is a product that's available on Amazon and it comes in either a 32 or a 40 amp configuration. And you can purchase it with a hard wire or a plug. This one here is the plug version with a NEMA 14-50 plug. Now this is going to be part of a video series, so the first video here is the unboxing. The next video I'll show you how to mount and install the product. And then in the final video I'm going to do a review and tell you some of the things I like and I don't like. Um, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. At the end of the video, if you found any value, give the video a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave those in the comments section below. And without further ado, let's get started. As we can see here, we have some sort of mounting bracket with hardware. And right up top, we've got our main unit, as well as some uh, instruction booklets. So let's get this thing out of the box here. You can also see there's a set of keys. with the charging cable. So you can see here that this is the version with the NEMA 14-50 plug adapter. And the charging cable which the handle here, so the, the handle is a standard J1772 charging cable. And if you have a Tesla, you can use the Tesla adapter, plug it in here, and then you plug it directly into your Tesla. So this is good for most EVs, almost all of them, and that also includes Teslas. Um, we take a look, so it comes with the just a mounting bracket. So this mounting bracket will mount on your wall, and it comes with the hardware as well. Now if we look at the unit itself, um, there's a little, there's a location here at the bottom where you can plug in the handle, and that serves kind of as a just a mounting location, somewhere to store it. And it also has this nice plastic feature here so you can wrap the cable around. If we take a look at the back of the unit, um, we can see there's some mounting hole locations and that's about all we can see from here. Um, I'm trying to see if this top lid comes off here. Doesn't look like it. Um, you can see also on the other side of the product, this is the lock location, so let's give that a go. Lock that. So this is a manual contact card and a card if you want to register the product. Um, just taking a look at the manual real quick. So it does say here you'll need a Phillips screwdriver and a stud sensor, and those are the only um, tools that are required. So they've got all the steps here to install the product, and pretty straightforward there. So overall, the product seems like it's really well packaged. Nothing came in the box damaged or broken, so that's a good sign. 
And please stay tuned. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to mount and install this unit. And then in the following video, we'll do a review and I can kind of go over some of the things that are nice about the product, some things that maybe could be improved in the next version and just give you my overall feedback on the product. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.